You know something? Wouldn't that front room just make the perfect nursery? I didn't even... It didn't occur to me when we first bought the house, but with a little bit of paint and a little bit of paper, perfect. I'm going to be dreaming in pink and blue, aren't I? Not necessarily. How about green? Well, green is tricky, you know. It, it, it depends on what green. You have to be specific. There's so many. Uh, forest green, mint green, lime green, mm. baby poop green, which we'll soon be up to our ears in. <laughs> you know that you can influence a child's development by the colors you surround them with. It's true. Certain tones can promote health or uh, wisdom or kindness. Financial security. What color do we paint the kid's room so that I can take an early retirement and he will support me? You always have to be so practical. You know, of course, I'm going to be the size of a beached whale by uh, the hottest month of the summer. Fret not, my precious. I will wait on you slavishly. I will fan you with palm fawns. I will feed you lemonade that I have squeezed with my own bare feet. <laughs> Is that a promise? <laughs> uh -huh. Can you imagine what our garden is going to look like this summer? Isn't it going to be beautiful? No doubt about it. You know, that's actually one of the things that I liked about being a new place every year was watching the flowers come up, you know? Uh, whether it was tulips or Queen Anne's lace or whatever, you know? It was sort of like a gift that we nomads left behind for each other. What did you plant in Canada? Glads big tall ones in every color and this year I want to replant May May's rose garden I've always hesitated with roses before because they're well because they're permanent you know but this year I want to take a chance I want to plant something that I can watch grow year after year after year that would be nice it would wouldn't it I mean, can't you just picture it this summer sitting out there in our rose garden rocking our little baby to sleep and Lucky playing with his dog. I, mean, I can't believe it. It's just like a storybook. It's almost too good to be true. I mean... Darling. He took the news really well, didn't he? Like a pubescent trooper. Uh, he really knows how to twist the knife, though, doesn't he? How he connected having a baby with being safe. He was just saying what's on his mind. I think that's a good idea. I have a lot of things to do with something. Sweetheart. We can't avoid this. We need to talk about something. Please, I don't. I Laura, don't... please sit down, just for a second. I have to know. I have to know, with the baby and everything, if you're still okay with me doing this job. Luke, given a range of options, there are a lot of things that I would rather see you doing than breaking Frank Smith out of jail. We don't have a range of options. But the baby changes, uh, so I, much. I, I know, I know. But no child should grow up believing that it's acceptable to live in fear every day of their lives. Children deserve better than that. Everybody does. Well, that can't happen unless we put an end to this. Right now. And I believe that what you're doing is trying to make a very bad situation into a better one. Trying isn't good enough. You will do it. I have absolute faith in you. Okay? And what else do you need to hear? Hmm? Just one thing. What? The fantasy. In the garden. Yeah. Rocking the baby. Lucky in the flea bag. Mm -hmm. Am I in there anywhere? Of course you are. Of course you are. If you're not there, 